All right, so I figured I was right in the middle of doing my clutch on my Galera 180, and that's the uh, Melosi Delta. I wanted to go over the differences between these clutches, the pros and cons. So we got, I got into a discussion on somebody um, with somebody online the other day. The You've got a few different styles here. So we'll start with the Delta, and this is a maxi scoop clutch, of course, so this is a big, um, big boy. So the way the Delta works is your adjustment is this piece, this piece, and this piece. You can't get in there and screw it like the other style. What you do on the Delta, very strong clutch, very good clutch, um, really popular, but um, it's a pain to adjust. I'm gonna show you why. You can, your points of adjustment here are A, changing your clutch springs just like any other style of clutch, and then B, this this slider here, what you do is you loosen this up and you push it forward and it, it, it fits in these little grooves. So I've got mine adjusted all the way into the max position. Let's say I set this up just the way it is and let's say I want to loosen it up. What I have to do is take off all these clutch springs loosen it and slide these black pieces in. What that does is it has uh, less preload here um, on the on these springs. So it's definitely more work to tune this clutch. They're strong, they're good clutches, but it's more work. Also, what you have to do, this ring, you've got your three O-ring seals that sit one, two, three. This piece fits over the top, and of course, when it has tension on it, none of the holes line up. So you have to work them and get them over the pins, and then you have three little C-clips, one, two, three, that hold this thing all together. So when you wanna make an adjustment, change your clutch springs, three C-clips come off, this piece comes out, make sure you don't lose any of your parts, your O-rings. Typically, you have to, you have to um, set this piece, I, I typically clamp this ring in a vise, and then pull three springs out, make adjustments, and back and forth. That is how you adjust the Melosi Delta clutch. Incredibly good clutch, but it is definitely more work to tune. That's the Delta. The next one is gonna be the Polini clutch. The Polini clutch is very similar to the Stage 6 in the aspect that your adjustment is here, okay? Where the Delta one is here. You simply get in here with an Allen, and that's, you screw this. If you tighten this in, it pulls this bar and preloads this spring more. So you can change your springs out on this clutch and you don't have to take anything apart. You pull this off the bike. Actually, you don't even have to pull it off the bike. You can leave it on the bike, take your bell off, okay? Because your bell obviously is gonna be right here. And you've got one, two, three. That's how you adjust the, the load on your springs. If you wanna change these springs, it's also very simple. Loosen all three, one, two, Three, loosen those and they'll be so much slack you can literally just pop these springs right out of there pop them back in adjust the screws tighten it back up this is the whole clutch right out of the box as you saw it there's nothing else they come with clutch springs as well uh, uh, different different colors but the, this is one of my favorite clutches when it comes to uh, street builds and and builds and whatnot Polini is a really good clutch here we've got the stage six clutch when you pull this out of the package you're gonna find a little baggie here. Let's go ahead and rip this bag open. We'll go over everything in, these, this con in the contents. You've got a spacer. This spacer is gonna change your offset for whether you're, you're uh, using this on a Piaggio style, Dio style Minarelli. They used to have two different clutches for Honda Piaggio and Minarelli, they don't anymore. They offer one and they provide you with a spacer to change the offset. That's the reason for that spacer. So there, there's only one part number for this if it's both bikes. What you get is these are the soft springs in here. You're, you're pretty much gonna take these off. They're, I don't know of a combination other than bone stock that these are gonna work on and these may even be too soft for stock. Very simple on changing the springs. You get your Allen in here. Also, I will say, we sell bells and they make bells that go over here and they have holes drilled to change these springs with the bell on and adjust them. But 90% of the time, it's really hard to get it dialed in and it takes more time to do that than it does just to take the bell off and adjust it. So if you look here, you can see right there, see those little bars. That's how you change your clutch engagement and make sure that they're all the same. So when you adjust it, you want them to all match. But for now, we're gonna take these springs out. So I'm gonna loosen it up all the way. I'm gonna 
hold my finger over the Allen. And they just come out just like that, see? Pop right out, grab your pliers, pull them out. Very simple, very easy. So the stage six is a really easy clutch to adjust. Again, keep your hand, they just flew right out, there it went. Keep your hand on this Allen, because if the Allen falls out, this all this stuff comes out. Take your orange springs, just like that. That's how easy those are to put in and out. Want it out, shake it, falls right out, or grab your pliers, pull them out. You got your orange spring in there. You're gonna take this, just turn it. And it's gonna start moving that slide piece there. And you keep going till you find your proper starting point. So I'll turn it in a certain amount. Okay, start at that bar. Now you would match it to the rest of them. But for now on this clutch, since this is a clutch we're going to sell, I'm gonna put the white springs back in it. You can get these pieces new, the screw, and this little slider piece you can get brand new from stage six. If you strip it, mess it up, you can get them. Again, I will advise I would not do it through the clutch because, or through the clutch belt. If you put the Allen through the clutch bell in the holes, you're very, very um, likely that you're gonna strip these out because the angle is off. So don't be lazy. Just take the bell off. You're already lucky enough to have a clutch that works the way it does. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen all these up. We are going to open this clutch up and show you how the weights go in. So the stage six is the only one that has the weights. The Polini does not have weights. The Delta does not have weights. Both those clutches work extremely well. All these clutches work great. Just because it doesn't have weights doesn't mean that it's not gonna work well or that it's not a good clutch. They're all really good clutches. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all these springs out up here and show you guys where those weights go. Oops, okay, leave that in there. Shake it, two springs out. I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this back up so I don't lose this. Allen, because those will come all the way out. I may as well show you guys. That's how they, how they work and how they fit. So, gonna take this last one out here. This is the same theory as a centrifugal clutch you guys probably had in mini bikes and go karts growing up. Some of you guys still rock those things, so you have a pretty good understanding of how they work. But you've got these brass weights here. So as this clutch opens, it's gonna grip your belt. These weights are gonna control, in, they're gonna work with your springs for one to control how fast they fly out, but it's gonna put a certain amount of force on that belt. Most people won't even mess with these, but this is how they go. So you can have one spring, you can have one brass fitting. I'll take these gloves off, they're killing me. You can put one brass weight here, you can put one here, one here, you could do two on the outside, you could do, you can do them however, just make sure, make sure um, if you're gonna put these in, you've got enough to, to fill this thing up. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have enough to fill this thing up. If you put this thing full of weights, it's gonna fly out sooner and it's gonna provide more, um, more grip on the bell. Like I said, 90% of people won't even touch these weights. I do in my bikes, high powered bikes, I would definitely use them because they're gonna provide more grip. Just make sure if you try this, you wanna have them all equal, okay? So if you're gonna use one, make sure you've got them all in the middle or you have them all in the first spot or you have them all in the third spot. Don't, don't. Obviously you wanna make this thing balanced. So whatever you do on one of these arms, you need to do on all three. I'm not gonna put any, any brass weights in this guy today just because it's I'm gonna sell this clutch but we'll take it put these springs back in one two and maybe three no that'd be too easy if it just worked that simple and once you get these all in what you're gonna to wanna to do is just snug it up. See, that one's screwed in a little bit. That's why that's not dropping in. There it goes. As far as what colors to use, nobody's gonna use whites. Probably not, unless you're using this for a stock replacement, you'd probably use whites. Almost all bills are gonna use the red springs, which they don't come with. So, the oranges are kind of a medium spring. 
The whites are a soft, the reds are race. I would, I would advise anybody that's got a 70cc kit, get the red springs to go with this clutch. Get your bike together and dialed. And what you do is when you get your red springs in, you just turn these in tighter and tighter to, to raise the RPM engagement, make sure they match. If you've got red springs in here and they're almost maxed out and your clutch is grabbing too soon, the problem is not the clutch. The problem is your CVT tuning. You need shimming. Your belt is the wrong belt. Your rollers are too heavy. Contra too soft. You have another problem. This, this clutch on my big Evo and on my twin grabs at around 8,000, 8,500 RPM and it's not even maxed out. So great clutch this is my go-to clutch here again this is piaggio typhoon derby gp1 your pilly sr50 minarellis your jogs your chinese clones your honda dio honda elite honda aero this fits a ton of bikes bang for your buck this is the best clutch you can actually get rebuildable pads as well all these parts are replaceable if you're going to get a 70 cc kit and you're going to build your bike this is a clutch you want to get if you're kind of going more uh, high rpm if you're not you're going for really mild really basic this is overkill you could go for a melosi fly that being said i like to just get it once and be done and have the adjustability insurance broker patrick speaking hola hola patrick this one can we just do this this can we just do this this one hey what do you call what do you call two Mexicans playing basketball? This one, you sell uh, life insurance for one. And my family, my sister needs the life insurance. What do you call two Mexicans playing basketball? Come on, it's funny. This one? It's called one on one. This, this one, you sell insurance to one? This one? See, hello? You call about the Civic on Craigslist? <laughs> oh, they're getting to know me now. That's pretty funny. At the end of the day, guys, these are the main three clutches I would advise for your two-stroke build. The Stage 6, 
this is what I'm gonna advise for something that's got a higher revving setup. These two are gonna be in the same category. Higher revving setup, where you need that grip to be a little bit higher and, and the adjustability, the ease of the adjustability. So these are gonna be the two that I would advise for, for that. Um, the Delta is gonna be also advisable. It's a strong clutch. It's just a little bit harder to adjust. It's a really, really good quality clutch, but it is a little bit more time consuming to adjust. The Melosi Fly, this is actually my go-to for basic wheelie bikes and guys that just want sport setups, stock setups. This is what I run on my pre-bug and it works extremely, extremely well. It also comes with a matching bell. For you Zuma guys, Honda guys, Piaggio guys that are not looking to really do a lot of adjustments, you just want it very simple and reliable. I have probably 200 miles worth of wheelies on my fly clutch with some heavy springs in it and it still grips hard every single time. No slip, it doesn't have any problems at all. It's just been working flawless. Carter uses this on his wheelie bike as well. This is a great option. It's a hundred bucks for that combo where just these clutches by themselves are in the 90s. So by the time you do these clutches with the bells, you're 150, 160 bucks said and done for a good combo where this is a hundred. Again, you have no adjustability other than changing out the clutch springs, but it's a really, really good clutch. Lots of good choices, kind of show you how these guys work. And uh, if you have any questions, post up below. Thanks for watching. Hello.